Welcome to another food adventure with getting lost. Today, we are at the Thompson Sun Fu district to try some food. Foods like these hard to find snacks, this popular noodle dish, some desserts, and a surprising find. So join me at Sun Fu Mart Food Center where we're going to try some food. So let's get going, let's get there, and let's eat some food. Let's go! How to get there? We're actually in Marymount MRT station at the moment. So once you get out of the gantry, you turn right and walk down. We are going towards exit A. We're actually on the circle line today. So we're going to walk through the corridor, walk right towards the end. And towards the end, if you turn right, you'll see a escalator going up. So we're going to go, this is exit A, so we're going to take the escalator up, all the way up, towards the sunlight, towards the light, the light! Okay, so we're going to go all the way up here. Okay, so today, we're actually going to visit Sun Fu Food Center. Okay, Sun Fu Food Center is supposedly one of the last hawker centers to be built in Singapore in the 1985 and it was built to house the Lakeview Markets and Food Center uh, a lot of the older stores from that place actually, um, they actually all the store owners have retired but there's still some around so we're going to try some of the foods here because some of the foods here you don't find at the usual places Okay, so once you get to the top, you turn right. Okay, directly in front of you is actually Marymount Road. Okay, so you turn left here. Okay, one thing is the food center itself is actually diagonally in that direction towards the right. Uh, this direction here, yes, towards the here. So you have to walk through all these HDB flats to find it, but. For simplicity, simplicity sake, we are going to take the longer route where we're going to walk uh, from this road here, which is Marymount Road. Okay, and then we uh, will walk along this road here, and then we will connect at uh, Sun Fu Road, and then from Sun Fu Road, we're going to walk in to the food center. So we're going to take a longer route towards the right here. Another alternative way to reach that place is. To your right here, there's actually a bus stop. You can actually take a bus stop, bus 410, okay, which will take you one bus stop to right directly in front of the food center. So you can, the one to your right here, this bus stop, you can actually take this bus, a bus from here to take you directly there. But we're going to take a nice walk. Okay, so just keep walking along. We still have uh, Marymount Roads on our right. And directly in front of us is Sun Fu Road. Okay, so, so, and directly in front of us is Sun Fu Road. We're going to walk, turn left here, and walk along Sun Fu Road. Okay, and the food center itself is actually along this road ahead. Okay, so we just keep, have to keep walking. As you have noticed, we actually have changed. Uh, the covered walkway. This is a more modern covered walkway. The other one is a, a older, older covered walkway. Anyway, so just follow the covered walkway straight in, all the way in. Some more, just walk some more, walk all the way in. Okay, and after you cross the road here, that is. That is Sun Fu Mart 
food center and that's the place where we're going to try some of the foods okay it's a very not well known place uh, not many people know about this place because it's quite smack in the middle of nowhere away from all the busy streets so Sun Fu Mart food center and they actually have a wet market below so let's get in there and let's try some of the food which I'm sure you will like the first shop here is called Mei Zhen Hakka Delicacies okay. this shop here sells something that is hard to find in Singapore nowadays Hakka snacks okay. they also make uh, would they make the Hakka version of the soup tray, which I didn't get but what I got was something that I haven't eaten for a very long time here they call it Epicus Balls but what I know this what I know this for myself is called Epicus Seeds because they actually make the ingredient itself that looks like Epicus Seeds that's where they get the name from so this Epicus Seeds as you can see here is delicious okay very very good they are soft but they are not overly flowery they are almost like mochi outside is very soft inside there's a nice bite texture to it and it's very fragrant because they put in I think there's some kind of okay how do I explain the taste the taste is like you know when you eat oyster omelette they have the the starchy they put, put extra starch into the egg it tastes something like that very well flavored and then they also put in a lot of uh, uh, green onion and they put in a lot of uh, deep fried uh, shallots and then the chili sauce itself ooh, goes very well very delicious I really really like this which, which, which you can't find much nowadays next up is this place which is also quite well known it's called Lai Heng Fried Kway Teow and Cooked Food Basically, they sell Chao Kway Teow Fried Kway Teow Noodles okay, So these are the noodles itself uh, Unfortunately for me, I felt that There was not much of the wok hay Or the fragrance from the wok itself But Even then They do make a very good uh, plate of uh, fried kway teow. I also do not see any uh, deep fried pork lard on it but somehow that doesn't make it less flavorful the noodles itself is very flavorful somehow it's not too oily it's still moist okay, the uh, cockles itself is uh, slightly cooked barely cooked Okay, but they are able to get the juices from the ingredients like the cockles, the Chinese sausages and also I think they also the sauce also that they put inside the sweet uh, dark uh, soya sauce that they use to put on the noodles itself is actually very flavorful and it coats all the noodles and because of that you do not have any lacking in flavor Okay. It's a very good cha kway teow. Only thing is, it doesn't have the wok flavor, doesn't have a lot of those crispy pork lard. But that doesn't make the, the noodles taste any less good. The noodles taste good, it just doesn't have the pork hay that you get in normal cha, cha kway teow. But overall, not too bad the noodles. Another shop here is called Chocolate and Spice. And what do they sell? They sell muffins and cakes and quiche Which is a unusual thing to sell in a hawker center But here it is, I ordered some muffins Okay, I ordered uh, two chocolate chip muffins Which you see on top okay, yeah, Which you see on top okay, And then at the bottom there you see is the orange peel muffin and then underneath there is actually the banana muffin so I ordered a box of muffins to take home 
So I will review the muffins when I get home. Which is now. <laughs> okay, so I took it out of the box. Unfortunately, as you can see, the chocolate chip muffin actually flattened up the banana muffin a bit. So the banana muffin is not as rounded on top. But that doesn't make it any less tasty. And the smell coming out from here, ooh. Okay, basically what's good is because these muffins were baked this, this morning itself. So it is very good. And now I will kill the muffin with this knife. I will do some murder. Murder she wrote for on, on it for you. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, this is the chocolate chip muffin. So there are some chocolate uh, bits inside there. Uh, this is the banana muffin. Okay, and there's a, some a banana inside there. Which is very nice because the banana actually makes the banana muffin very moist in the middle. Okay, this is the uh, orange peel uh, muffin. Which is also not too bad. The orange peel gives it a very nice fragrance. Okay, the banana one, very moist inside. So, these two are my favorite uh, muffins from there. The chocolate chip, as you can see from the knife itself, was very well uh, cut through. Overall, not very good muffins. And lastly, this place here called Wak Lima Store. And what I bought from here is Mi Siam. And I must say, this was one of the surprising finds for me here. The Mi Siam here is excellent. The, the soup, the broth here is very, very flavorful. And it has a very refreshing, sweet and sour taste. And the sourness itself is ooh, just so strong, you know. And you, once you put it in your mouth, you can just mmm. It, it wakes up all your all your taste buds okay but not overly uh, sour but sour just the right amount and it's a very fruity sourness that I really like okay this is the normal bihun noodles together with bean sprouts as you can see a lot of flavor in that and the soup mixed together with the noodles they go so well together, together with one whole egg. Oh my god. This is one of the most delicious Mi Siam I've ever eaten. This put all the Mi Siam eaten so far to shame. This is a really, really good Mi Siam. I do not know what else to say except that this store only opens for breakfast and lunch. And they close at 1.30. If you come late, it's all gone. Anyway, this is Sun Fu Mart's food center, a place that not many people know about and is in a very remote place. But that doesn't mean the food is not good. The food here is good. You should come down here and give it a try. And this is a uh, Thompson Sun Fu district. I hope you enjoyed uh, my, our visit here. We didn't really see a lot of interesting things. So, if you did like what you see, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to join me for my next food adventure. Bye bye!